Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee Break English. My name's Josie. And my name's Mark. How are you today, Josie? I'm very well, thank you, Mark. I'm excited for another episode. How are you? I'm well too, and yes, I too am looking forward to this episode because it's about music, and I love music. That's right, me too. And today we're talking about a very, very famous English pop band. It's the Beatles. Excellent. Now, Josie, what are the language points that we're going to be looking at today? Today, we'll be looking at the past simple tense. Okay, well, we can listen for them in the text. Let's have a listen. And because we're talking about an English band, let's listen to Susan from London. I'm sure you know the Beatles. They are one of the most famous pop bands in the world. John Lennon and Paul McCartney created the band in Liverpool in the UK in 1960 when they were teenagers. At the beginning, the band didn't have the same name. They were called the Quarrymen. After a few months, George Harrison joined the band. They changed their name to the Beatles and they went to Hamburg in Germany to play in bars and clubs. In 1962, they fired their drummer because they didn't think he was very good. Then they found Ringo Starr and the band was complete. They released their first album, Please Please Me, in 1963 and soon they were famous all over the world. The love and excitement of their fans was called Beatlemania. Their fans screamed and cried at the Beatles concerts, and some of them even thought that the band had supernatural powers. Between 1963 and 1970, the Beatles made 13 albums and even some films. In 1970, after an incredible career of 10 years, the band decided they didn't want to continue making music together, and they separated. The four Beatles all had successful solo careers, and Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr are still making music today, although they are quite old now. John Lennon died in 1980, after he was shot by a Beatles fan in New York, and George Harrison died later in 2001. The Beatles are still very famous today, and there are many books and films about their amazing story. In 2003, Rolling Stone magazine decided that their album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, was the best album of all time. The Beatles were actually inspired by another singer, Elvis Presley. When they were teenagers in Liverpool, they loved Elvis and they wanted to be famous for their music, just like him. Their dreams came true. Thank you, Susan. So, let's review the text and we can talk about some of the vocabulary and language that we find. Would you like to read the first phrase, Mark? Absolutely. I'm sure you know the Beatles. They are one of the most famous pop bands in the world. Yes, so they are famous. Famous means everybody knows them. They are very known. Okay. John Lennon and Paul McCartney created the band in Liverpool, in the UK, in 1960, when they were teenagers. Lots of information there. Yes, this is quite a long phrase. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. John Lennon and Paul McCartney created the band. Created is in the past simple tense because this, of course, happened in the past. We make the past simple by just adding ed onto the end of the infinitive verb. In this case, the infinitive is create, and create already has an e on the end. 
so we just add D. Create, created. So they created the band where? In Liverpool, in the UK, in 1960. Okay, so we've got a when there too in 1960. And that's when they were teenagers. That's right. Just about 1960. Often people think it's difficult to say dates in English, but actually it's quite easy. We can divide the date in the middle and say it in two separate numbers. 1960. And that was when they were teenagers. What's a teenager, Mark? It's a young person who is between the ages of 13 and 19. That's right, exactly. An adolescent, we could call them as well. Let's continue. At the beginning, the band didn't have the same name. They were called the Quarrymen. Good. So here we have another example of the past simple. The band didn't have the same name. This is the past simple in the negative form. And to make that, we just use the auxiliary verb, the helping verb, didn't. And we put it in front of the infinitive verb, didn't have. Okay, so they didn't have the same name. They had a different name. They were called the Quarrymen. After a few months, George Harrison joined the band. They changed their name to The Beatles and they went to Hamburg in Germany to play in bars and clubs. Here we have three more examples of the past simple. George Harrison joined the band. That's a regular past simple verb, join plus ed. They changed their name to the Beatles. That is similar to created in the first phrase. Change already ends in e, so we just add d. Okay, that makes sense. But what about went? Yes, went is an irregular verb. So that means it doesn't follow the same structure as the other verbs. Went is the past simple form of go. It's very different from the verb go. So we don't say they goed to Hamburg. We say they went to Hamburg. It's irregular. Okay, so they went to Hamburg in Germany to play in bars and clubs. Let's continue. In 1962, they fired their drummer because they didn't think he was very good. Good. They fired their drummer. First of all, what does fire mean, Mark? They dismissed their drummer. They told the drummer that he didn't have a job. Good. And the, the drummer is the person who plays the drums in the band. And fired, it's in the past simple as well. So they fired their drummer because they didn't think he was very good. Didn't think is the negative form of the past simple, again, with didn't. Okay. Then they found Ringo Starr and the band was complete. Good. So they found Ringo Starr. This is another example of an irregular verb in the past simple. And the infinitive form is find. So I find in the present, I found in the past. Okay, so the band was complete. 
we have another irregular verb there. That's right. To be is irregular. And we looked at、um, the past form of to be in the previous episode. Exactly. Okay, let's go on. They released their first album, Please Please Me, in 1963. And soon they were famous all over the world. Good. They released their first album. Released. Again, it's the past simple and it's a regular verb. And their first album, Please Please Me. Have you listened to this album, Mark? I have listened to this album and I think it's great, but I prefer. Their later albums. Ah, I think I prefer their earlier albums.、Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay. And soon they were famous all over the world. Yes, they were famous in many, many countries in the world. Okay. The love and excitement of their fans was called Beatlemania. Yes, I remember seeing some video clips and some pictures of Beatles fans. Fans are people who love the Beatles, and they looked very, very excited when they saw them. That's right. Their fans screamed and cried at the Beatles concerts, and some of them even thought. That the band had supernatural powers. Yes, lots to talk about in this phrase. Their fans screamed and cried. Maybe when you see a horror film, you scream, or when you see a spider or something scary, you scream. And they cried. So when you are sad or emotional, You, you cry. Okay, so screamed is regular. We add ed. But what about cried? Yes, cried is a little different. The infinitive of cry is c r y. But when we change it to the past simple, we remove the y and we add i e d. So the past simple verb is spelt C R I E D. And this works the same way as, for example, to try. That's right, exactly right. T R Y in the infinitive and T R I E D in the past simple. Okay, so their fans screamed and cried. At the Beatles concerts. And some of them even thought that the band had supernatural powers. Yes, so here we have two irregular verbs in the past simple. The first one is thought. So the infinitive of thought is think. Think in the present and thought in the past. And the other irregular verb here? Yes, the other irregular verb is had. And that comes from have. I have in the present, I had in the past. And what are supernatural powers, Josie?、Mm. So a power is something that you can do. If we think of a superhero, the things that they can do. Are their powers the special things they can do? For example, Superman can fly, that is his power. And supernatural, that means more than natural, not natural. 